Hi, Katie Anna. I'm Katie Lopez. It's Mar March 1st, and here's your latest headlines. States will gain access to nearly 4 million doses of the country's first, uh, third FDA-approved COVID vaccine starting tomorrow. Johnson & Johnson's single-dose vaccine gained emergency use authorization over the weekend and started shipping last night. Although a one-time shot may be more desirable, health experts are encouraging Americans to not turn down the opportunity to get the Pfizer or Moderna vaccine. Louisiana is adding nearly 1 million people to the total number of those vaccinated across the country. The CDC is reporting that total at more than 75 million COVID vaccines being administered. Nearly 50 million Americans have received at least one dose of the vaccine. Around 25 million people have received both shots. With vaccinations increasing, some are wondering about mask mandates. Now, phys physicians are saying that it's not really about the number of people getting vaccinated. It's really about the COVID positivity rate in your community. For things to be more like the old normal, there needs to be a positivity rate of less than 1% throughout the entire country. Today, UL will begin mandatory random COVID-19 testing for faculty, staff, and student workers. It's part of their continued efforts to stop the spread of the virus. Right now, a plan is in the works to institute similar testing for UL students. There's no firm start date for that plan. In Washington, the latest COVID relief bill heads to the Senate this week. The House passed the bill early Saturday morning by a narrow vote. Democrats plan to approve the bill using a process that requires only a majority vote. Now that means if everyone votes along party lines, Vice President Kamala Harris would break that tie. Well, we've got temperatures that get up to about 75 degrees by lunchtime today. It's a quick warm up today. And then after that, we do start to cool down. And in fact, cooler temperatures coming up in the later parts of the afternoon than what we're going to see this morning. We'll sit in the 60s after lunch, getting down to about 53 degrees here by the end of the night tonight. Scattered showers and a few thunderstorms possible, mostly in northern parts of Acadiana at first. They will spread southwards through the back half of the day today. Showers then spread out across the area going into tomorrow. Tuesday is kind of a wet day, gray day. It's going to be chilly as well. Highs only at about 57. Strong winds out of the north. We'll keep the wind chill down in the 40s. Sitting in the 60s through the back half of the week. Good looking end of the work week anyway for the extended forecast. We just got a gray couple of days to get through first.